Last month, the Salt Lake Chamber announced the formation of the Utah Transportation Coalition, a group championing strategic investments in Utah's transportation infrastructure. Now, the coalition is co-chaired by Wells Fargo's Dave Golden, a former chair of the Salt Lake Chamber, and H. David Burton, the former presiding bishop of the LDS Church. The Utah Transportation Coalition also released a study last month showing a big economic payoff for funding the state's unified 2040 transportation plan. It identifies over $54 billion in critically needed investment through 2040 to ensure good mobility as our population grows, as was earlier described. Two, current revenue sources will generate about $43 billion, necessitating an additional $11 billion to implement the plan and to protect our economy. Uh, the Transportation Coalition will be working over the next uh, two decades with policymakers to make up that $11 billion gap. Now, just to make sure you caught that, to get the biggest bang for our buck, we need to invest just over $54 billion. Now, the good news is we have over $43 billion of that already planned, but we need to come up with an additional $11 billion to get the biggest bang for our buck. That's a significant amount, but here's why we need that investment. We all know that the population of this great state and this area will continue to grow dramatically. And as the population continues to grow, it's estimated that perhaps as much as 60% over the next 30 years. Think of what that <clears throat> means in terms of infrastructure and what it requires in terms of investment to make our transportation system continue to be the model that is around the country. So it's critical that we continue to invest in our roads, in our highways, our public transit, and even the walking and biking trails. Now we've all heard the phrase, if you build it, they will come. Well, here in Utah, it's more like they're coming, so you better build it. Here's the return on the investment. According to the study produced by the Economic Development Group of Boston, implementing the plan will create 183,000 jobs by the year 2040. We get a $130 billion boost in additional household income, $183 billion in additional GDP, and $22 billion in additional tax revenues. The cumulative value of all of that transportation investment is that our economy works. People and products get where they need to be. So remember three things. Economic fundamentals matter. Utah has them in droves. Transportation investment is a critical economic contributor. And if we invest in the unified transportation plan, we will create jobs, income, and business output for Utahns. Investing in transportation has paid off for us over the past decade, so much so that we have become the icon of this nation in how to do things right, under budget, ahead of schedule, and most importantly, before we just totally gridlock our community. You can find a link to the full transportation study below. We also have an executive summary if you want to just hit the highlights. For the Salt Lake Chamber, I'm Marty Carpenter.